Hi guys, it's Melissa in Minnesota. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very fabulous day today. So we're discussing where I've been, what I've been doing. Uh, we will go through some beauty and awesome food haul from Vitacost, so get ready. And also some lifestyle and some body care items in this haul as well. So grab a cup of tea or coffee or a little snack, whatever you wanna get, and uh, come right back and join me. I'm gonna show you my helper. Coda, hey, can you say hi? This is my helper. She's down here. Yeah. I can't say a no buy. It's more of a low buy. And I've really been focused on using the things that I have and not buying. Now, however, I will say I have found one brand and I have been buying things as they have sales and it is Root Pretty. Uh, I am wearing everything on my face by Root Pretty today. This company it has floored me like no other company, no other brand. Ordered a couple of their samples. I love that you're able to do that. Almost every product that they have that they make, you can find it in a sample version. And I love that with every order that you get, they send you a sample. And I don't know how they do it, but out of all the orders, and I'm not even gonna tell you guys, I'll do a Root Pretty haul and let you guys see that. I will have to do it since I've bought so much stuff in three different categories, makeup, skincare, and hair care. And I don't know how they do it, but every sample I've got, there has been very few that I have been duplicates. And uh, <laughs> she's bringing her ball. <laughs> it's not play time. <laughs> so there might be some disruptions. No, I'm filming. No, no, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, good girl. So anyway, I will touch on that a little bit. I will let you know right offhand and then I'll put everything down below. I am wearing the Pretty Booster in Lightly Medium. This is their, almost like a cream foundation. It comes in a pump, uh, but it's not a powder and it's not a liquid. It's more of a creamier texture. This foundation is just amazing. I love how it gives me a no makeup look. I just, I love it. Um, their blush, this is, uh, I love their pressed products. I have very few that are loose products. Their blush is in My Girl. The uh, lip, it's their pretty, what do they call them? Their pretty bombs. All right, now not all of them are like it, but some of them are pretty darn pigmented and they are just, you put them on and they leave a stain. This is in Punch Love. This color is so amazing. It's like a reddish orange. I kind of tried to match <laughs> my decal of the Grateful Dead. Uh, I am wearing their mascara and I'm wearing their eyeshadow, but I could not tell you what color it is. I can put a picture up of what I did. I took all of their sample loose shadows because I just don't like, I was a big, huge Bare Minerals fan. They are not gluten-free. They, that's one of those companies that are not iffy. My son but just texted me and I film on my iPhone so it just kind of cut me off. So hopefully I'll go back to where I was discussing. Um, anyway, about the company, Bare Minerals, they say that there's some of their products are gluten-free. I just not to my sensitivity level. So um, what I did, because uh, Root Pretty, all of their samples, they usually send those, uh, whether they're press version or loose, they will send them as a loose form uh, for eyeshadows and uh, also for blushes. They, what I did is I took one of my Red Apple lipstick, uh, their little square palettes. I dumped all of the samples that I had just in little, as they came in the little um, container, dumped them out, filled that pan with alcohol, let it dry, and that is my palette. It's kind of like a swirled baked version. I'll insert a picture of everything. <laughs> but anyway, um, because it's kind of swirled, I do have light to dark uh, in that palette uh, form, but I just kind of dip my brush in and apply it. And I don't know, it's kind of, uh, a lot of theirs have like a slight uh, satin to sheen and I just love the way it turns out. And then I do have a lot of their press shadows, but again, I will go into detail with that. So that is kind of like the beauty form that's been going on, but as far as everything else, I've been really trying to focus on using what I have, low buy, use what I um, have, uh, at home in my stockpiles, and I will say stockpiles because I had quite a few things of backups of backups. And so I will have a huge empty haul starting from the beginning of this year, and hopefully I will have that uh, video coming up again uh, this month as well. And so you guys will see what I've used. A lot of them are the brands that I've used. I I've, have switched a couple brands up or tried different things, but uh, only when something has uh, been out or I really needed something that what I had was not working right now. Gained weight, trying to lose that. That's my uh, goal this year. 
So I will be getting into that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to start filming that, how I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, I need to start hitting the treadmill again. I used to be a runner. I have started to try to get back into that. Um, I have not run since I was diagnosed with a, um, it is non-celiac gluten intolerance, but it's a very severe, I was never tested. I did have celiac. I don't know. I just didn't do the test. So it kind of, um, if anybody's watching this video in the beginning, just where I'm at in my uh, gluten-free journey, I believe, because I started going gluten-free the end of 2012, which was another reason I was not, um, able to do any of the testing because I never felt so good in my entire life and I only learned that because my brother-in-law actually has celiac and he I was talking to him over uh, this was um, 2012 Thanksgiving I was talking to him over that and he goes you know you sound like your symptoms are a lot like what I had when I was diagnosed and um, I was feeling so bad at that point in time. I mean, I was like really sick. Like I thought I was gonna have to go into the hospital because I was so bad. And I started going gluten-free then. Was not able to, after Thanksgiving, I called the doctor, was not able to get in until January 4th. We live in a small town. It just was one of those things. Um, January 4th of 2013, and that's when I was actually diagnosed with the gluten intolerance. And so since I had already been gluten free for that long, it's like you have to go back on gluten. And my husband's like, there's no way you can do that. They're gonna have to hospitalize you the entire time that you're on that before they can even test you. And then my doctor also said, there's a lot of room for error. So um, that's just kind of the route that we went. And so yeah, depression and anxiety came along with that. And some other things, you know, that uh, along the way in between just dealing with, um, you know, personal situations that came up, that has been something that I've been uh, having to deal with. So that is the lifestyle part. So that's beauty and lifestyle. And today's video, now that we're gonna get into it, is the food part. A huge haul because I have not been shopping a lot from Vitacost since, or any place, I mean, besides my local stores. I wanted to focus on what we had and what was locally. And um, so there are just some things, my stores just aren't carrying things and I rely a lot of uh, online shopping, but I tried to really focus not buying. So it was time to stock up. Huge sales going on all the time. This is not going on now, but they had a huge sale on Joy Life. Uh, the Enjoy Life is one of the few chocolates that I can have. Not only am I uh, gluten intolerant, severe gluten intolerant, so it's like even though some things list, like I mentioned with the beauty products, some things list gluten free, they're not to my sensitivity level that I can consume them. So I am dairy intolerant as well. Joy Life brand is free of the top 10 allergens. So it is a certified gluten-free brand. I've been using this for since 2013, so all the way up until now, never had an issue with that. So I picked up in total, and I'm only gonna show you one of each bag, 12 bags of the Mega Chunks, 16 bags of the uh, chocolate mini chips because those are the best ones I find for baking and making chocolate chip cookies. They're not overly um, large in size, so they just work really well. And six of the dark chocolate because my son and I both love dark chocolate. So the dark chocolate morsels, these are the bigger ones. These work really well and I thought they used to have chocolate chips like this in the semi sweet but when I order them, these are the mini ones. So um, I didn't see the regular chocolate chip sizes in the uh, semi sweet so, I mean, not a big deal. I love the chocolate, I can use them. And the chunks, I find these are really huge. Uh, these are great for snacking, for putting in granola, trail mixes, things like that. So that's why I buy these. Absolutely just the most amazing chocolate. Highly recommend those. Look for the sales if you can. Other product that I got was the uh, chocolate brownie mix. These have teff flour in it. I will let you know that Glutino makes a really good brownie that's like a smooth brownie. This has teff flour in it so you can taste the grains in this. And they are made with ancient grains. So again, that's gonna be one of those things. But I like these, my kids. I have teen boys, they absolutely like them. The Glutino brand, like I mentioned with the brownies, they make an amazing mix for uh, sandwich bread. This is your loaf. I just mix it up, put it in a bread loaf pan, bake it. I actually bought four of these. This is so amazing. Um, then we toast these. I put on garlic butter, uh, not really butter, but it's, it's a um, dairy-free butter. And uh, so that's kind of how we make garlic toast. Uh, it does make an okay sandwich. I do prefer um, Canyon, um, not Grand Canyon, uh, 
whatever the name of that is. I'll put it on the screen or down below so you guys know what I'm talking about. That is just like pre-gluten-free days of bread. It's just really, really good. I usually like the whole grain. My kids and my husband like the, um, it's the honey white. So the next thing that we have, I'm watching the kids are getting off the bus, not my boys, but some neighbor kids. Uh, the Bragg's Nutritional Yeast Seasoning. Bragg's is uh, who makes the apple cider vinegar that I like. I love this as a cheesy flavor. I kind of sprinkle this on anything, anywhere from salads to uh, pasta. Love this uh, just sprinkled on any kind of noodles with a little bit of yeah, non-dairy butter and this. And this is high in B vitamins, which a lot of people that have uh, gluten intolerance are low in. So yeah, I would definitely recommend picking that up. It's just a great way to get that supplement. True Blueberry, this is Celestial Seasonings Tea Bags. Um, ow, my son, older son, just, he loves this. And I love the way it smells. It does smell like blueberry muffins. And he, this is his favorite flavor. So I picked that up when I can. I actually picked up a large box. Uh, normally it's like half the size. This is like two uh, boxes. Uh, this is the peppermint. Love this tea. Again, Celestial Seasoning. This is just a great tea. I love it. Hot cold. It's just a really good, really good flavor. Annie's dressings, um, there are only a couple of them that I don't care for, and I think there are a couple that are not gluten-free. So check on that and make sure you read the ingredients list. And the roasted red pepper, not only do I like this on salads, but I've mentioned this before, crock pot, put a chicken in it. You can put potatoes in it, but normally I just like to do the chicken. Uh, put this on top. It, the roasted red pepper flavor is just amazing. I will serve it with like peas or green beans and then serve this over rice. Sometimes I will throw in uh, mushrooms and some onions will work really well for that. I picked up two because I love it. There might be another one in here. I ordered, uh, there's several different uh, boxes. They came, when I put in my order, they sometimes put them in different ones. Picked out a couple of seasonings. This is my favorite brand. I've been buying only this brand for a couple of years now. The Simply Organics. I have a onion powder and a garlic powder. I This is my go-to. I can't do um, uh, real onion. Older son, I mentioned him a lot in this video, does not care for onions. Loves the flavor, does not like the texture. So this comes in really great for that. And then I did mention that we make garlic toast and uh, that's what I use this one. Teen boys, things don't last. And so I've had this box for a little over a week. I think it's been in my dining room. Char's brand, oh my gosh, I have found their buns, the hamburger buns, their hot dog buns are amazing. Yes, they're a little more on the expensive side. You get four per package, but you know what? If you're gluten-free and you're craving something that's really good, I highly recommend that. These are the gluten-free cocoa wafers. Um, these are crunchy. They have like the chocolate filling on the inside. And then of course the wafers. Someone told me that you can dip these in chocolate. It would be almost like the Kit Kat. So if you're craving that, you might want to give that a try. But yes, love these. I'll just toss that on the floor down there. The Coconut Aminos, this is the Coconut uh, Secrets brand and the teriyaki sauce. I actually picked up two of these. I have one in my fridge now and then I will um, unwrap it, but I also picked up the regular soy sauce, gluten-free. Highly recommend these if you like any Oriental dishes. And this is one of those products that I have bought numerous times. Um, you can order it in smaller sizes, but I go ahead and pick up the larger. This is the, um, is it? 16.9 fluid ounces and then uh, this is the 10 fluid ounces so you can see the size difference in that like this so much I went ahead and grabbed that uh, this is really good on salads too that I found if you want to mix that almost not balsamic vinegar but it kind of has that a little bit of that same flavor to it if you're looking for a different salad dressing I do have an Annie's French dressing really like this for salads I picked up a couple of these. Um, actually, I have one more. I picked up three total. This is the Sir Kensington. They have changed the packaging on this as well. This is the Classic Ranch. This is one of my favorite ranches. This is dairy-free as well as gluten-free. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a great ranch, they actually taste like ranch. Sometimes I do like the Primal Kitchen, but that doesn't taste, it's got a little bit different uh, spices in it. It tastes a little different than ranch. So um, that one is dairy-free as well, but you're gonna kind of have to try different things I'm gonna say questionable on what ranch should taste like. So um, some 
just depending on the spices, but I really like this. Uh, Annie's, another product that I love by them is their organic ketchup. I do prefer this ketchup more than any. I picked up four of these. Yeah, love this. I keep that. I actually think I have four in the pantry now, and I bought four more because they were on sale. So uh, sometimes when I know that I'm going to use something, I will stock up. This is the Organic Honey by Madhava. Flavor of this honey is a dark not dark like in molasses. It's in between a molasses and then the, uh, if you have tried the Echo Bee Farm honey, that's a lighter honey. Uh, it really just depends on where it's processed and what the bees are pollinating when they're making the honey. But this is just, it's 100% pure raw. And uh, I, I really, this is a great honey. So I picked up that. I love that brand. Um, so saying that, I picked up the organic, very raw honey. This is unfiltered, 100% pure. And this is a lot more like the Echo Bee Farm honey, very thick. This is a little less firm than the Echo Bee Farm honey, so you could probably spread this on some warm toast. <laughs> they ate one. I didn't even know another one was hiding, so this one is still here. Yay! <laughs> so anyway, I picked up two of these then. Uh, this is the other one, and again, they've already gotten into this. This is the Shards Gluten-Free, they call them Schnacks cakes. These are like little Debbies, if you guys can see that. And I love that they come in individual little packages. My older son doesn't play sports anymore, but my younger son has decided he's going to make up for both of them. He plays tennis, and then he goes to soccer practice. On a couple days of week, he is not only in school, but then he goes to tennis practice, and then he goes to soccer practice. So he doesn't usually get home until 8 or after, usually around 8.30 or so. And it's just really good. Yes, this is not one of the healthier things, but sometimes it's just good to have a little snack, and he will take like a banana or fruit or something like that. But so I'm going to move these things out. That is the food hall. A couple body care products that I have. Desert Essence. This is, um, I picked up two things from them. I love the Desert Essence Fragrance Free Shampoo and Conditioner. And I noticed that they had the Fragrance Free Hand and Body Lotion. So I decided to pick one of these up. This is a lighter formula. Um, one that I had used was uh, the Every One, but it's not fragrance free, it's unscented. And I was using that this winter. Love the consistency. I love the formulation of it, but I don't like the smell. It has like aloe. And sometimes aloe has, if you have a, an aloe plant, it has a like aloe that's in the some of the products that they use where they add fragrance in it to make it smell nice. And um, it doesn't really smell like real aloe. Aloe, the plant, has a very earthy, earthy smell to it. And so that... EO products, yes, they use the essential oils. Everything's natural in that. I did not care for the, even though it says unscented, it's a fragrance in it. Um, so I decided to go with the fragrance free. I like, like I said, the Desert Essence Organic brand is one that I trust. And so, yes, this, this doesn't smell like anything. And it's just a nice, nice <laughs> break from scents and things like that because I have chemical sensitivities so it's like things that some people smell as a one I'm smelling as a six or a seven it's like strong I can smell things very very well the desert essence soap bar exfoliating Italian lemon this is amazing again uh, one of those things where not only am I trying to cut down on things that I'm buying I'm really trying to pay attention to things that I'm making more sustainable choices. This is in paper, paper is recyclable. Once the bar soap is gone, this is completely done. I could compost this paper in my garden if I wanted to. And I usually do that with the Vitacost boxes. I will put those into the walkways of my garden. They break down, they're biodegradable. I don't have any issues with that. I know they're not leaching out toxins in my garden. So finding a product like this, a company that does something like this is very, very, um, satisfying for me and that's what I like about Root Pretty. I'm just going to mention them again and then I'll finish up my haul. They will, you can send back their packaging and they will give a, I think it's a discount or points that you can use toward a next purchase. So I love when companies are doing that. You can actually order their products. It's called Naked and they don't send it in a little muslin bag and they don't send the extra card with the sample or anything like that. It's um, I think it's also a dollar cheaper in shipping instead of $5.95. It's like $4.95. And that's only if you're under, I think it's like $79 over that is free shipping, but you can still do the naked shipping. Love that. And it's just less packaging that they end up shipping. So 
Not that there's a lot of packaging in their products to begin with, but I just love that they have that option. Moving on to household, talking about being more eco-friendly and trying to find um, different ways to kind of lessen your footprint in the uh, environment and your space within the world. Dryer balls, I have bought several of these. I will put essential oils on them and then put them in the dryer. Absolutely love that. This is their other packaging. With four dryer balls, these are not scented. I will use my essential oils on these. Um, I do have several, several dryer balls. These are not the largest ones that I have. I do have some that are a little larger than this, but I find that my towels are fluffier, my clothes dry faster. It's just, like I said, a great economical way to scent your laundry. Put a couple drops of essential oils. You're not using dryer sheets that are loaded with fragrances of God knows what uh, in that fragrance because they don't have to, to tell you anything they put in there. And uh, the way that the chemical company, the fragrance company, just commercial manufacturing, that's the way it goes. So these are two-year guaranteed, 100% natural, soft natural fabric softeners, pure New Zealand wool, soft and silent, and Lamy approved, which means they don't harm the animals in the process of making these. You're going to place your Lamy dryer balls in the dryer with fabrics. Um, you can add essential oils. It reduces drying time, softens fabrics, and reduces wrinkles, which I have found that out. My husband wears cotton pants, um, dress pants, and I do find that I don't have to iron those as much. Sometimes I don't have to iron at all, which is nice. And I have found that I don't have any problem with static when I use the dryer balls, so that works out win-win. The Nellie's Laundry Soap. I love that these are in tins, and I will reuse these for other laundry soaps uh, after this if I don't restock. But uh, they come in a bag. They have a little scoop, and this would be the amount that you use. This does 100 loads on average. This is um, HE approved it has oxygen boosters and uh, it comes in a tin so this is just fabulous i love i mean look at that this is packed full has a little scoop in there love the fact that these are just very nice reusable products packaging they did really well on this i love like i said the vintage look of that uh, nelly's did a fantastic job so that's all i have so hope you're all having a very fantastic day i will see you guys in my next video take care bye guys mm -hmm.